this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from spirit and from all of our higher selves on this journey to unconditional love and so I share the messages that I get from our higher selves and everyone that comes to me for healing for readings and also for channeled letters because I channel letters from your souls and get you the messages that your souls want you to know to put you on your highest path uh, now yesterday I was talking about um, a healing that I'd done for somebody and they were getting in their car and getting in a rainbow car which is really significant and they were in a desert and it looked like they were running out of gas um, but they got to the station and then filled up and drove off and then somebody who was a member of the crystal grid that I do um, contacted me to say that actually happened for her and her twin when they were doing Route 66. And I read out the letter 66 um, for the letter yesterday. Now somebody sent me a song today which is a song for you. Which has been sung by the Carpenters and various people. But the version that she, se that she sent me was Simply Read. Now, when I looked at it, I scrolled down and again, it's always, you know, I haven't done this in a while, but it's always amazing how everything links to the next, to the next, to the next. And it is so lovely to show how um, it is all of our higher selves and all, all, all of the divine, you know, this is the thing. You have to really realize that it's your twin spirit who is guiding you home. Um, and that their stamp and hallmark will be all over everything. Because I will show you, remember that we are creating this divine love tree. And if you think about this as the planet, the roots are, all of us are the trunk and our roots are going down into the universe. And we are just here to remember to create this huge tree of love on the planet. And so I'll show you because again, it is so lovely because the first thing that I always do is whenever someone sends me a song, I always go to the comments to have a look because I'm like, I know there's going to be messages in the comments. So first of all, the song has 11,000 on it <laughs> and 11 is of course the sign of the angels but also union coming together. When I went into the comments straight away, I saw... There is somebody who has, look at this, the emblem, Route 66. And also I love the fact that it, the person who has it is a Beatles nut 007. So Beatles, of course, we have loads of Beatles songs. The first song I ever put out was, um, <laughs> was uh, Imagine by John Lennon. The fact that it's a nut because um, the the crystal grid that I do is all based around the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. And from small acorns do large oak trees grow. So I love the way it's the nut. And of course, 007, seven is your soul path. So I was like, that is such... You know, it's so lovely. Above it is the rose. And today, the message that I put out on my Instagram was all about the rose. Because that was the letter for this morning that I put on my Instagram. And it was all about the divine um, counterpart giving you a rose. Because you are the rose that opens up their heart. And so, um, if you want to go onto my Instagram, it's Divine Love Crystal Grid. And if you use, if you start using hashtag grow the flame then it's all about actually bringing this divine love and literally being like this, creating this tree of love onto the planet. Now, the song, I'm going to read you some of the lyrics because this is clearly the message that they wanted to say today. And the song is this. I know your image of me is what I hoped to be. I treated you unkindly and darling, can't you see? There's no one more important to me. Baby, can't you see through me? Because we're all alone and I'm singing this song to you. You taught me precious secrets of a true love. You wanted nothing. You came out in front and I was hiding. Now I'm so much better. And if my words don't come together, listen to the melody because my love is in there hiding. I love you in a place where there's no space or time. I love you for my life. You're a friend of mine. Now, 
yesterday the messages that I was getting from my from my guidance and my twin was saying I'm really really sorry so I've had um, two things well so, so three things that have happened so one is financial stuff coming up the other is my twin spirit is saying I'm really really sorry I'm feeling this deep sense of, of like being sorry financial stuff it is if you're going through financial stuff I've said before that I'm in the process of selling my flat I'm extending the lease um, originally the the landlord above um, said that he would extend it for a thousand pounds it's just I've just had the letter yesterday saying he left it until two days before the deadline and he said he came back saying he wants fifty thousand pounds now you know obviously that's way not cool but at the same time I'm like okay I just need to I just need to be objective and say okay this is happening for a reason and da, 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 and all of that stuff so if you are um, going through the same thing then you just have to keep believing you just like okay I trust that everything's happening for a reason I trust I trust I trust that all solutions will come to me I trust that I'm being given this gift for a reason so let me find out the way to the correct solution and the way to do that is to go and meditate by a tree and ask because the, of course the tree is the money tree so go and ask for whatever comes for the solution to come to you so that's the other thing so money has been an issue coming up the other one has been around um male people around you being very sorry so because it hasn't just been my twin so I've also felt my um, dad's energy quite a lot re uh, around and uh, that's because just um, I'm estranged from my dad my dad walked out on my mum four years ago uh, yeah about four years ago and he left a letter on the kitchen table which is why you can see it's so symbolic that I'm now channeling letters between twin souls because actually that's how my dad left and completely out of the blue no no um no warning at all so I you know obviously that was devastating for my mum so um it's I was looking after my mum for for quite well and still do and um so I've definitely felt this sense of my dad's energy around now I have just come home and I've just had a card from him to say that he's actually getting remarried to this woman who was supposedly my mum's friend who he went off with, although didn't have the guts to actually say what he was doing. Um, and the reason why I say this is because when he left, I met up with him one time and I challenged him about the way that he'd left because it was so horrendous and he did so many awful things that was, you know, tried to dis, dis um, uh, you know, loads of things. I won't go into the details, but it was pretty horrendous. And to then find out that he went off with my mum's friend and she was equally horrendous was just, you know, just quite, well shocking really anyway the reason why I say this is because when I met up with him one time he said to I, I because I challenged him and he was uh, he clearly didn't like it he said to me my freedom means more to me than you so the reason why I say that is because um obviously that was quite hurt you know that was quite hurtful but that the the reason why that's coming up now and I totally understand why is because we are being pushed to let go of these things because actually you if you carry around the weight of other people's actions or other people's you know stuff around you like for example that's happened with me my landlord is suddenly, you know, because of his issues, he's put this on me. Like my dad, same thing, right? And so it's about looking at it objectively and saying, okay, I understand. So why have I brought that into my reality? Why did I bring this in? 
And of course, for me, I can totally understand it's because actually I want to set my soul free. And so the fact that my dad said that to me, which has just come back to me today, of course, by letting go of the burden of all of this stuff that isn't my stuff, I'm like, yes, it, I am a receiver of it, but I am not, but I don't need to let it impact on me because actually I want to set my soul free. And, and by bringing these situations into my life, I realized that it is pushing me further and further and further into dreaming big and letting go of everything from the past. So it's like closing a chapter right, and opening a new door. So um, I just wanted to share that because I know, you know, if these things are going on for me, then I'm sure that other people will have stuff around money or stuff that's coming. You know, it would be, it, it could, may not be in the same form, but it may be in different areas of your life that things have come up again. And I really feel that for me, it is definitely about closing that chapter and really saying, okay, well, actually, none of that is my stuff. I trust that all of this is going to be worked out for me. I trust that I'm exactly where I need to be. And I trust, I trust, I trust in the divine plan. And I trust in my soul purpose. And I trust that I'm treading the path of my golden path. And I guess the more that we do that, the more that we do that every single day, the more that you can really trust the roots of the universe and the love vibration and everything, just like here, you know, moving into the love vibration more and more and more means that you can look objectively around you to see the situations that are coming up to then say, okay, this is here to teach me something and to help me to let it go, basically. So, because what I wanted to share is that I was in, just went for um, a drink and there was a, um, the number in front of me was 72. So I was like, okay, I know you want me to read 72 from the book. And it is this. I wish, I wish, I wish with every fibre of my being that we could just be together. That we didn't have to go through all of the upheaval the pain that our coming together will undoubtedly cause. I just can't get my head around the enormity of everything and what it all means. But then I think about you and how I feel when we are together and there's no denying that that is what I want for my life, for our life, for us. I want to feel alive. You make me feel alive, blood racing through my veins. I've been asleep all my life till I met you, right? And that was from number three. Um, I'm just gonna read it from number two. And you see, this is the thing, that's exactly how I feel, because I feel like all of this stuff has been brought up um, just for me to let go of, to finally close the door on it, right? Um, so the next one is, my thoughts and feelings have never changed. They've always been the same since we were created from a spark of stardust. She dazzled me, confused me, delighted me. A whole mix and array of emotions. Wonder in a word. Wonder is the best way to describe it. Using the human brain to rationalize such a mind-blowingly wonderful experience is just so difficult. You cannot imagine how it feels to have that instant soul recognition. The heart explodes with joy. It is beyond amazing. That is what I feel for you, wonder. You are my joy and my delight. Well, there you go. So dream big. And if you're being pushed into situations, then just look at them objectively. Go hug a tree, go meditate, go ask for the solution to come to you. And I promise you it will. If you need some help with that, then please do. All details are in the link. Okay, take care. Bye.